morning. Lisa Reineman, St. John's Riverkeeper, thank you for the opportunity to speak. And on behalf of our members, I stand here in opposition to the North Florida Regional Water Supply Plan. Um, for similar reasons, we're opposed to the Central Florida Water Initiative. Two very specific reasons. First, this plan fails to make water conservation a priority. Um, in the narrative, it reads well, just like the CFWI plan, but does not have the policies in place to truly implement a true water savings through conservation. Um, for have real conservation, you have to have three, there's three legs to the stool. You have to have re uh, regulations, you have to have, uh, you have to have education and incentives. Unfortunately, over the last six years, all the water management districts have, have reduced education, so we don't have that component. Incentives have been reduced, and this fails to put those responsible, reasonable requirements in that would truly generate water savings in a long-term, sustainable way. So we do ask that you look at truly walking the walk and making these water, the narrative about water conservation, make it a priority and truly implement policies so we all do our part for the long term, for the kids that the speaker just spoke of as well as all of our futures. Um, secondly, both processes fail to take in stakeholder involvement. In Central Florida, there actually there were several conservationists that worked on the conservation committee for two years. They literally walked away from the table the last day because none of their recommendations were incorporated in the final plan. And just like this process, Dr. Welsh, who you heard from earlier, um, he had produced a minority report. How many of y'all have read the report that he produced? I don't see anyone. What? Thank you. I appreciate that. I would ask that you all read it. Um, some of the things that he did mention that, and this is quote, overall the, the um, stakeholder advisory committee did not serve its purpose. That is that the incorporation of stakeholder input into the uh, regional water supply plan. In addition, Florida's water is being wasted by bad policy, poor management, and utility greed. Water is a finite resource, which the Florida public and Florida leaders have come to take for granted. The North Florida Regional Water Supply Plan falls short and will lead to unacceptable damage to Florida's natural systems and wildlife. This was our representative on your stakeholder committee for the environment. He wrote this report with the intention for something to happen. So we would ask that you table this plan, take this minority report as well as the other comments you're hearing today, and let's have a true workshop on moving forward to implement sustainable long-term water supply planning. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Rick Hutton. 